For a long time, we've been talking about stormwater capture and recycling and reuse and uh, efficiency improvements as being the best way and the cheapest way to augment supply. And I would say 20 years ago, there was a little bit of, okay, and now there's like, please, give us these solutions. We're ready to put them into practice as quickly as possible. We've eliminated water waste, fixing things like leaks, putting in new, more efficient appliances and fixtures, changing out our landscapes. Those have made real tangible improvements. We're less vulnerable to drought because of it. Things like recycled water or capturing urban stormwater runoff. Well, water reuse and efficiency is one of the smartest things we can do. Beyond efficiency, efficiency is by far the cheapest, fastest, and smartest. But water reuse is a, a vast, untapped resource, particularly with our coastal wastewater treatment plants, because that water, even highly treated going in the ocean, isn't doing the ocean any good. So it's a, it's a complete waste. You know, the default reaction, I think, when you have a water issue is to go build another very, very expensive, large infrastructure project. And it turns out it's a lot cheaper to be efficient with your water use, to reuse it, um, to catch storm water, to recharge the aquifer, to do these kinds of things, it's just a lot less expensive. And a key role of the Institute was changing the conversation about water in the Western United States to thinking about how to use water more efficiently, uh, to think about stormwater capture, to think about balancing groundwater, to think about uh, reusing wastewater. Those are all now fundamental parts of the conversation. So understanding some of these truly simple interplays can set an entire direction for an entire, not only not an entire sector, but how we power our homes, our industry, and our future. Everybody should have an enlightened self-interest in supporting the organizations that are gonna figure out how to build more water-resilient systems in the face of climate change.